for the cheapest coins on the internet right now head on over to mutt coin bank guys you can get a million coins for 40 bucks with tax covered instant delivery you will get 24 7 customer support and of course if you guys do use code poodle you'll get 10 percent off and your ea tax covered but it's poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'll be going over the brand new golden tickets that we do have in the game they should have just dropped about now these come up pretty fast considering they're golden tickets so they seem to be a lot more common this year than they have been in years past in prior years guys getting a golden ticket was just super hard and prices were pretty expensive but this year just has not been the case with that last year was trending in that direction not from a pack standpoint from a price standpoint pack are still hard but this year i'm seeing plenty of people pulling golden tickets that i've never seen pull before or at least that consistently right now before we get into today's video guys if you're to the channel hit that subscribe button turn on that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up as always if you haven't already comment down below let me know what's going on guys let me know what you guys have been up to let me know if you pulled the golden ticket yet always interesting to hear some golden ticket pulls i've still never pulled one to date never pulled an ltd or golden ticket guys and playing since man 13 it's just i don't get it but it's all games I, I get lucky occasionally in other games, which is not mad. Madden's never been my game when it comes to luck. That's never been my thing. I don't know why. But before we get into this, guys, if you need coins, head over to uh, my coin bank down below and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional discount, guys. And they'll even cover EA tax. Take advantage of the good offer. Now, let's head on over, guys. So I don't know uh, what's called. I want to open up a few packs because they do have a few guys in game. Now, I don't know what the packs here. I, should, I don't know which pack was probably the best one to open. I mean, I can I'll probably open up two here. Clutch pack, 7.1%. Uh, let's see, Ultimate Legend Fantasy Pack. It's more than I can afford anyways. doesn't really matter there. Let's go over to Players and see what we got over here. All Pro Fantasy Pack gives me a 93% chance, 9.2. Okay, I'm, I'm probably going to take my chances with the All Pro Fantasy Pack. It's a bit cheaper. And you only get one Elite here. You get two Elites here, right? So let me try one of these. See what the, luck, the odds are looking like, right? I want to take a chance because, I mean, I feel like I'm seeing them get pulled everywhere right now. So if there's ever time to pull it. It probably be now. We did just get some new ones in game two. We get an elite right there. All right, Justin Smith, him, him. All right, that's round one, right? Okay, so, ooh, we got an ultimate legend right here. Oh wow, it, it, it pretty much showed it to me. All right, we got most feared, scary, well, scary strong Trey Turner. We got a elite right there, Christian Kirksey, another elite. Hey, these packs aren't. I suppose they aren't horrible, right? I mean, I'm getting a lot, a lot of flashes, right? And that's what you want to see, because the issue is when you do a pack that only gives you like one flash per pack, it's like. Chance of getting her soul. But if you get a few flashes, like, yeah, you give me my base leads, you give me my bad players. But you get me, you're going to give me some good ones too, right? These packs aren't that bad. I mean, all pro fantasy packs have been historically pretty good this year. We got a team of the week right here. We got a superstar MVP before. We got an elite. We'll take him. We'll take him. him. Oh, it's, the whole, it's the whole pack, right? I wish we got that. All right. So we get this right here. Campus hero, Ken Norton. We get a rookie uh, superstar MVP. We get a... Oh, my God. I blanked for a second. Thanksgiving. An elite, another elite here. Okay, so we're probably this wasn't this wasn't a great round. This was not the best round by any stretch of my imagination. Um, we have another one. We have another one in store, so I'm still excited. Cause I mean, like like I said, with all those flashes, I do get a little bit excited. This seems like there's a pretty good chance of getting something out of these. Oh, of course. That just it's I want to just completely delete my binder at this point. I'm waiting for I don't want to keep quick selling things. I'm waiting for a good collection that requires me to use certain positions. Because then in that case, I'll be able to go ahead and be able to complete collections pretty easily and get a ton of coins. But Madden does not want to let me go ahead and do that. They just keep continuously making me put my binder out. All right, one more before we go ahead and over and check out the golden ticket players. Let's see, we got a rookie. We got a superstar MVP, gold. All right, gold. Okay, no, nothing's like that first round here. All right, we get a small legend, 83 Rod Woodson. We get a elite. 81 Matthew Judon. We got a power up here. Please make it at least a good one. Corey Moore. A low legend. And of course, we get a low elite. Okay, that was oh, actually Steve Smith's okay, I guess. That was that wasn't that great. Alright, okay, that's it for the packs. I was hoping for better. We have oh, we could do training variety packs, so right? I heard those were good as well. I really I really just want a chance at, 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 a, at a golden ticket, guys. I mean I've tried. I've tried. Training variety pack. What are the odds on these? You get a 90 plus overall redux player, 83 overall legend. 82 overall team of the week player. One quick select in the uniform. Power up contain one of the following power up player. I'm confused how you pull a golden ticket out of this. Is it possible? I've definitely seen people pull golden tickets out of this, right? Quick sell. Huh? Am I opening up the right pack? It's gotta be that one, right? I'll give it I'll give it one more 
one more world real quick if that does not work guys we're out of here let's go check out the new players all right yeah we're out we're out that was horrible wow what a waste of training all right let's head over to the auction block and check out these players real quick i tried my luck at a golden ticket i, I don't know like i said i know i do small quantities at a time but you know seven to eight years plus of small quantities adds up something big i mean at, at this point right I, I can't imagine that i've never pulled literally anything like i've never had a pull like i've never had that pull that, like i can i can talk about right and let people know like oh remember that pull i had back in that year no like it's just not a thing for me and i don't know why so let's see we got let's sort by newest so Derek Carr's in here let's check out Derek carr field general quarterback 86 speed 98 throw power 98 throw short 96 throw medium 99 deep 99 throw depression 99 throw the run 97 play action now, he's actually going to be a really, really good quarterback for a few reasons. First and foremost is that he does get 99 throw deep off the rip. So, he's going to get 99 short, 99 medium, and 99 throw deep, as well as 88 speed and 99 throw power. Going to be the perfect throw and quarterback. From behind the card standpoint, has pretty good carry, pretty good change of direction. Very, very well-rounded quarterback. You can't go wrong with him. Is he the best one? Stat-wise, he's up there. I mean, it's going to come down to, you know, of course, release. Grant Delpit, 6'3", which is going to be one of the key aspects of this card. Now, let's see. He's got 96 speed, 98 excel, 99 tackle, 97 play rec, 99 pursuit, 95 man, 99 zone, 99 hit power. One problem I've had is this is like the third golden ticket I've seen with 96 speed. Why are they purposely making sure they don't get 99 speed? That's just messed up. It's a golden ticket card. I mean, his, his original card was pretty fast. So 99 speed should have been a guarantee. Um, he'll get 98 speed, though, 99, 98 excel, 99 tackle, 99 play rec, 99 pursuit, 99 man, 99 zone, 99 hit power. Going to be still a really good card. He's 6'3". Going to get 83 spec catch, 91 change of direction. Going to still get 84 block shed. That's good. Above 90 press. The card overall is going to be pretty, pretty good. What's this tackle looking like? Because, of course, I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be a boosted stat. 99 tackle, yeah. So, I mean, the card's great. If you don't mind the 98 speed, it's still a great card. Uh, next, guys, we got Derek Robertson. 99 right outside linebacker. 92 speed, 98 excel. That's actually really good. 85 strength, okay. 99 tackle is good. 96 play rex good. 91 block shed, 99 finesse, and 99 power move. That's really, really good as well. Six foot three is a good height. Does he have a little zone to him? 80 change of direction, 94 impact blocking. He will get an 82 zone coverage as well, which isn't going to get to the 90s, but you know, still, still, still usable. Moving on, guys. Let's see what else we got here. We got the final guy. We had Derek Roberson. Oh, Jalen Rager. Jalen Rager, wide receiver for the Eagles. 98 speed. Okay, cool. So he's going to get his speed, and he has 99 deep route running, which you'll see why that's important. So he'll have 99 speed, 99 jumping. He'll get 99, 95 catching, 99 tra catching traffic, 96 spec. He'll get 99 short, 99 medium, and 99 deep. So he'll have max route running and speed. Um, he's going to also get a few other stuff here, like 93 carrying, which is super good. 98 change of direction, which is super good. 88 trucking, which is really good. 98 ball carry vision, 98 juke, 92 spin, 99 break tackle. He's going to be one of the best well, wide receivers after the catch. He's only 5'11", of course. He's going to be like that Tyreek uh, Hill kind of build, but... Better outrunner, better catcher. So overall, these are some really good golden tickets. I really liked them. If I had to rank them first to last, I'd probably put my last place one today going to be Derek Roberson just because he he's, he's a power rusher with low strength. Uh, we're going to get guys like Lawrence Taylor and a few other guys that can have faster speed. Uh, third, probably going to put uh, Jalen Rager. He's a good wide receiver, but it's not like he stands out too much among the other ones. Like He's really good, right? But... Derek Carr is a perfect quarterback. It's not going to give you the release, right? This RG3s, but he's still good. Actually, no, I'm going to put Derek Carr 3. Derek Carr 3, I'm going to put Derek Rober... No. Derek Carr 3, Jalen Rager 2nd, because Rager's actually really, really good. And first, I'm going to have to put... Um, I mean, personally, Grant Delpit, even though he only gets 98 speed, he's still... He's just maxed out everywhere, and he's big, which is going to make up for the speed regardless. But yeah, guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy coming to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notify bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you need coins, head down below. Use the link. Use code Poodle at checkout. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.